I'm a hoe for pilots, let me tell ya. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your first time here. I'm Megs and I love to make beauty videos and I love, 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 love makeup. Um, so today I'm doing a video that was popularized by Samantha March with her Will I Buy It series as well as Kimberly Clark in her Auntie Hauls. Mine is going to be past purchase or perhaps. Um, I prefer this kind of way of doing things because it helps me focus in on what I really want and what is out there uh, in the makeup world. It also helps me kind of be present when I do shop or when I really want things and, and this allows me a form and a medium to really think about it, be present and not dissociate when I shop because that can happen so easily. I see something that's so pretty and beautiful and you know, I do appreciate anything that, uh, you know, people have put a lot of effort and creativity into, especially with indie brands, um, more so than mainstream because, you know, someone's heart and passion have been put into it. Um, and I do appreciate anything that is beautiful. Um, so I want to start off with certain websites that I like to look at. A makeup Release Radar is one of them, Trend Mood 1, as well as uh, Indie Makeup Spotlight and Angel Naked 1. Uh, the first one I am looking, because I do follow this brand, and I absolutely love a majority of the stuff that she launches. And in talking about Danessa Myricks, she is launching, there isn't much information, but she is launching what she calls Twin Flames. It's a multi-chrome and it looks like they're cream multi-chromes. Um, and there's uh, 10 shades of them. I don't have an unofficial launch date, nor do I have what the price is going to be. Um, I know for myself, anything that Danessa launches is generally high quality and beautiful. It is particularly, um, I feel more of a makeup artist line, so it does have to have uh, lasting power that a lot of her products are like multi-use, multifunctional, and will generally be of really good quality for, and especially the price tag is pretty awesome. So if and when I find out <laughs> these launch, these are going to be a definitely a purchase for me. Uh, I've had a sneak peek of some shades through Katie Jane Hughes's um, page here on Instagram and she was showing the different colors and oh my god there's one that's like the Scarab that seems to be the most popular here uh, with amongst um, you know makeup lovers and enthusiasts and I do see there's some shades that are going to be very reminiscent of Natasha Denona's as well as some powdered multi-chromes that are out there. So I'm hoping these will be uh, well priced um, and I just know they're going to be amazing because a lot of her products are already. Um, so that's going to be a purchase <laughs> whenever I find that out. Black Moon Cosmetics is having um, a launch of new lipsticks. The Sister Satin Lipsticks dropping on the 27th, so Black Friday. And there's three colors that they're launching. One is called Hellraiser, which is a nice beautiful cobalt blue, which is actually, I think, very cool. Dracula, which looks like a blood red. And then Omen is the blackest black. So I have a lot of reds and I have some blacks already. The cobalt blue would be the one that I'd be most interested in. But to be quite honest with you, uh, given that the time of year and uh, all the other launches that are coming out, I don't need any more lipstick. I have purchased way too uh, shitload. <laughs> of lipsticks in the last couple of weeks and months. I really don't need any more and I really need to start playing with what I have in terms of lipsticks. Plus we're wearing masks, you know? So honestly, I think I've actually already, already purchased too much. Colourpop's added again in terms of releasing multiple launches in a week and uh, pretty much every week there's at least one or two launches. Um, and this week is no different. Um, this is their new vault collection. It's the State of Play. It's a pastel vault with new two new palettes including Cloud Spun and On Cloud Blue. Uh, I believe Cloud Spun is like more of a lilac-y light purple and then Cloud Blue is like a Actually, it's quite pretty, but I already have Blue Moon and some other palettes that are coming with lots of blues in them. So I really don't need this, even though they look really pretty. I actually have just placed uh, an order for ColourPop, and I'm going to get to that in a second um, with another launch from ColourPop. It's a bit, I'm a little bit late to like release this. Everyone's already 
not release, but to talk about it because everyone's pretty much already discussed it and has now been showing it. But I just wanted to talk about the Raw Beauty, Beauty Christie's launch and um, collaboration with ColourPop. It's at Forest Sight, which is so cute and is very representative of Christy herself. And so I actually have purchased this, so yay! <laughs> it's not going to be a complete anti haul. Um, so that is on its way along with another uh, ColourPop launch that was probably, about, I want to say, about two weeks ago now. And it's the, uh, is it the Ornate? I don't know, but it's the Baroque one with all the gunmetal grays and all that in it. Um, so those both are coming to me. So go Colourpop. <laughs> um, let's see here. What else do we have going on? Okay, this next one is from Give Me Glow. This is their new Vivid Rose palette. I don't have the vintage rose, but I have wanted to try Give Me Glow for some time now. However, I probably won't be through this particular palette. Um, while it's very, very pretty, I'm not really into pinks. I'm going to be completely, completely honest. Um, it's... I mean, the colors, there's purple, there's pink, and there's kind of some mauves in it. And if you take away the... Um, the bright pinks, it's very kind of monochromatic looking. And I know there's gonna be some people that would absolutely love this palette, like Karen Harris and Anne Jessica, uh, Angie here. Um, and they look, I mean, the quality of Gimme Glow from what I've heard is absolutely stunning, but I think I'm gonna be looking to either buy an already um, made palette, like maybe their grunge palette or, um, Christmas morning or even their vintage rose even though I'm as I've said already I'm not a big pink lover um the vintage rose there's something about it that's like incredibly like aesthetically pleasing uh to me and it has a beautiful mixture of uh shimmers and mattes and the pants look huge on these but for this particular one the vivid rose I'm going to pass on that this next one is by a company that I haven't really heard much about, but I have heard of them before. They're called Unique Beauty, and they have six pan palettes, a set of three, and they're based around, I want to say there's a Japan-type theme about it. Um, there's Sakura Season, which is kind of cherry blossoms. Sakura is a Japanese word for cherry blossoms. And so obviously the colors will reflect that, as you can see here, Japan Traditions and Tokyo, bustling city color story. I really don't know what that means and what's that representative of. Maybe there's more than neon lights and so forth that accompanies, um, you know, cities. <laughs> um, these are available 27th. I probably going to pass on these. They do, do look really nice and I'm more into um, smaller palettes these days than uh, larger ones. I like six pan or nine pans um, type palettes. So although the color stories are really beautiful, I'm just going to have to pass because there's so many other things that I really, really want. So, sorry. Um, next one here is from Dolce & Gabbana. It's the new lipsticks. Um, it's seven shades of high shine lip lacquer lipsticks. They have a doe foot applicator, as you can see here, and a beautiful kind of ornate lid to it. Uh, they look like they're fairly opaque, but it's just like the swipe. So, I, you know... Whether or not this is from their marketing campaign, I'm not sure. Um, like, while the packaging is really pretty, I would rather just kind of wait and see what the quality and everyone and kind of other reviews, to be honest. Again, it's the same idea. Anything to do with lipsticks right now, I'm just not probably going to buy due to the fact, one, I have enough and I want to... Uh, Look at other things. I'm a big eyeshadow trollop. I love eyeshadows. Um, I always have, and that is where my heart lies. <laughs> okay, um, let's talk about oh, this one. Okay, this one, this kind of breaks my heart a little bit because uh, this one is from Lunar Beauty and it's in its Manny's new palette. And I love the color combination. That old gold color, gold dust and deep sea just are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and even that middle roll, however, like basic they are, they're going to be beautiful to pair and for like, you know, for crease work and so forth. Um, I'm not a fan of grays, so... Even though I have the Baroque one coming, there's something about that one that's like super special, I feel. 
These ones here, there's a couple of gray colors that are, um, although a little different, I know there's adamantium and meteor and some other colors there. One of them leans kind of blue, which, is, which would be pretty just pair with the blues. So just to give you a little bit of more information, I have tried to order this and I was on the site, it was in the cart, and then I went to the shipping. Shipping to Canada is not always <laughs> Uh, nice in terms of price or anything we also obviously there's exchange rate and duties that we have to look into so when the shipping itself is $20 and that doesn't include the other two items I just mentioned um, it's hard for me to justify so if if I can get this from another site say like a Sephora I don't even know if they carry Lunar Beauty anymore I have to look um, I know Beautylish did but I don't know if they do anymore so I might have to kind of shop around to see if I can get better shipping because I would love to purchase this. But for right now, if the shipping is going to be the way it is, it's going to have to be a pass. Oh, that breaks my heart. <laughs> okay, let's look at some other things here. Um, this next company and launch uh, is very, very cute. It's um, from the brand called Shine by S Shine by SD Cosmetics and they're from my home province so I really really have just a lovely lovely um, warmth of, and a place in my heart for them. Um, these two palettes that they are launching uh, shortly, Black Friday I think, uh, there's one it's a quad of uh, pressed glitters and a, a quad of shimmers. It is kind of inspired, well not kind of, it's from their own words, they're inspired by the Jamaican um, culture. So the Jamaican flag is green, black, and gold, which is consistent with what the colors are offered here. And then that beautiful punch of red. While I do want to try this company because I've heard good things um, from some um, YouTubers here that I do actually respect their opinions, um, this particular palette's doesn't really grab me quite yet. I think I want to try her singles first just to see and try out with some shades that I really, really am drawn to. But I do think it's really beautiful, especially for this time of year, um, especially with that pressed glitter kind of pigment. You know, it's separated from regular shadows, so which is what I like. And like Nabla has also done that with their pressed glitter. I think that's smart. Um, but I think I'm just going to hold off for right now. So this is going to be uh, not now, maybe later, but in a different, <laughs> in a different, um, maybe more singles as opposed to this particular launch. So yeah, so they'll be available um, uh, during Black, Black Friday sales and on their website. So there you go. This next one is from Jones Road uh, Beauty, which is Bobby Brown. Um, and so I'm happy to see that she's kind of getting involved in back into her own line again. Uh, her epitomous uh, line uh, was sold to Estee Lauder. I don't know how much creative control or interaction she had with that, um, but um, Bobby Brown is very, very much known for her beautiful, classic, um, accentuating the woman's and men's own unique beauty and not adding or taking away anything in terms of shading, contouring, you know, um, just ch or changing and up the face. It's like using what you got, girl. And although her boring would be perhaps an adjective uh, that is used to describe some of her stuff, you're never going to see bold, colorful, like super colorful, vivid uh, pigments or saturation of her um, her particular product line because that's just not her aesthetic. Very classic, as I said. Um, she's launching looks like cream shadows and liquid shadows. Um, these are very easy, easy to use, and that's what she's always been about too. I'm going to have to pass on these ones. I don't know when they're launching. Um, nor how much they are. Oh, this is available now. So I imagine it's probably available now on their website. I mean, they look nice. They're potted shadows, but I just am going to kind of, mm, just going to say no to this one for, for the moment. So that's going to be a pass for me. This next one is, oh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, woo. Oh, so pretty. Um, and this is uh, the Forget Me Not by Violet Voss. As you can see here, look at those vivid blues. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's so interesting to see a blue palette with a pop of warmth, which is, you know, before we've seen the, the vice versa of that. 
I do have to think it's interesting that the darkest colors or the darker colors in the palette are shimmers, which kind of doesn't make sense to me. Typically, a lot of people don't use shimmer in the crease if they want a deep increase. Um, typically, they'll be looking at either a satin or a matte. Um, but the colors here are really pretty. As I've already mentioned, I do have like the Blue Moon palette and I do have some other palettes coming um, from like Juvia's Place, which is the Wahava 2 that does have blues in it as well. So I think I'm good for my blue content. Um, I don't wear a lot of blue eyeshadow. I wish I felt a little more comfortable with it, um, but for some reason I find this very striking. Um, can I just say, I want to make a little, <laughs> a little, um, rant for a second. Um, what the hell is going on with all these, like, launches that are, like, very, very sexualized? I am not a prude at all, and I think, you know, sometimes tongue-in-cheek, I mean, um, Too Faced does a lot, and pretty much their whole brand is a, a sexualized brand, but now I'm seeing, like, you know, Jeffree Star did it with his palette, I'm seeing it with Huda with her Naughty palette and the names of the shadows. Um, I'm seeing it with Colourpop's a new Amaru palette, which is, you know, supposed to be cheeky and very Parisian and French. I guess that's how you associate. <clears throat> that's what you think of, I guess, when you think of the French. Really? Okay. Um, but now I'm looking at House Labs and she's offering these quads called Four Way. And yes, it is what you think it is. And the names with the shadows within each quad are also very sexually charged and overtly sexual. Um, that aside, uh, I do like the idea that she's doing quads. I think they look kind of cheap, to be quite honest with you. Um, I've been so unimpressed with House Lab's um, offerings. I, again, I don't have any products to kind of say whether or not they're good or of good or bad quality. I just know there's nothing that really has wanted me to order from them. The fact that they're on Amazon, um, this just looks, this just looks super cheap. And again, the whole sexualized kind of, um, theme around it, surrounding it is kind of not really impressing me still. Um, the swatches look okay. Um, the color stories are nothing kind of bold or anything. And I think of bold and creative and innovative when I think of Lady Gaga. I'm a huge fan. But when I look at these, these are just... Anyone could launch these, to be honest with you. There's a very classic kind of basic ones. And then there's like maybe one with the lime and pink. There's uh, the teal and the sand colored kind of beigey ones. I mean, that's pretty. Uh, and then there's the teal with the mauves. That's kind of pretty as well. But other than that, like, I'm not really happy. <laughs> I'm not really happy with it. So it's definitely a pass, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, Laura Lee Los Angeles is uh, launching her nudie too. How many times can I say launch, 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 launch? launch okay anyway new release let's try it let's use some other words here um nudie 2 number two eyeshadow palette uh it has matte shimmers and foils uh there's a whole i think release with lipsticks as well and some bundles um the shadow palette would be the only thing that i'm as interested in if anything um to be honest with you i don't follow laura lee uh i know there was some antics and some drama lately uh, not lately, but in the last couple of years with her and a few other YouTubers. Um, it's pretty enough of a palette, but not enough for me to to go out and buy it and support her her brand. So that's going to be a, an easy pass for me. Um, again, another ColourPop. Jesus. Jesus Murphy! <laughs> um, again, it's the Amaru collection. Um, while very pretty, it's gold and bronzes and those kinds of colors as well as like berries and mauves. Nothing new from Colourpop. This is their uh, 12 pan palettes uh, and again it's it's kind of a naughty sexual innuendo type um, type of collection. One's called Boudoir Noir and Ménage et Moi. Sure, okay. <laughs> uh, no, I don't have time for it so pass on that one. Now this one, now, 
Davina. I haven't tried Davina before, but uh, I've heard, again, nothing but wonderful, wonderful things regarding her brand. And again, it's a little independent brand, I believe operated by one, one person. Um, and she has the Star Chaser collection coming out. Uh, I believe Black Friday and these look beautiful. She's been showing swatches of them and oh They look so pretty. I really hope I can get my hands on them um, When they launch it's gonna be I think it's gonna be hard because <laughs> again, it's an independent So there's only so many I'm sure that she's she's making and uh, a lot of people will want them uh, She's having a really good sale. I believe so 50% off retail um, for singles, I think eight, the collection's 48, Black Friday price is 24 for the whole set of six or $4 each, which, you know, sounds awesome. But again, for me in Canada, I'm, there is the exchange rate, the shipping costs, and typically with indie brands, the shipping is going to be by typically weight and it can be quite costly. Um, so I do have to be cognizant of that as well as duties and taxes. So... I I would I want to purchase I want to purchase these so <laughs> I don't know, take that with whatever you want but uh, these are definitely whew, they look so yummy <laughs> uh, let's see here KKW uh, is not having a holiday release that's very very uh, Boring. Um, it's pretty. Let's let's call it. I mean, it's pretty. There's like a cool tone roll, and then a kind of a more of a neutral tone roll. And it looks like she's maybe dipping her toes into some multi, or at least a duochrome, perhaps. Um, no, I don't know. It doesn't. I thought that for a second she might be a little bit ooh, pushing those back. And the battery died. I love it when that happens. Anyway, okay, so back to the channel and the quest, the video. I can't even talk. Like, I'm just tired. Um, okay, uh, duh, 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 duh. so no, I'm passing on the KKW Beauty. I think that's where we left off. No surprise there. I haven't purchased anything from Kylie nor from her ever. <laughs> um, next is from Estee Lauder. Uh, I mean, Estee is actually one of those brands that, you know, sometimes they have a surprisingly good quality, pardon me, especially in their complexion products. I mean, their blush formula is actually really pretty. Um, and I have tried some single eyeshadows. They um, came out a couple of years ago um, that were almost like that gilet type um, formulation. Uh, and I, they actually offered some really cool colors. This particular launch, uh, their holiday launch, the palette is, I'm glad they're pushing their limits with the greens and the golds and the blue. Um, it's definitely a more of a jewel tone kind of rainbow palette. I'm just not interested in it. Um, I don't go to Estee Lauder for their, uh, their eyeshadows. Um, again, maybe more complexion than anything. So this is going to be an easy pass for me. So there's two brands. There's uh, Musée. I think that's how you say it. Musée. And then there's like Storybook. And they're both doing a Van Gogh theme type palette, which I find very, very curious and curiouser. Um, both look like from the Starry Night. Uh, one's Starry Night based. I think they're both Starry Night, but one, uh, the Musée Beauty is Van Gogh. So typically in... Um, both palettes are pretty much the same. Uh, they both have like the gold, the blue, the yellow, the orangey kind of cones and the tones and green. So what you would picture in the Starry Night painting. So, <laughs> so that's really interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm gonna pass on both of them. And it's unfortunate because I love Van Gogh and I love uh, that particular painting. The next one is the Glam Light. It's this. It's a pro, Paint Pro palette, in like the Painter's palette. Um, they have already launched one that was like this, so I'm, I'm a bit surprised that they're doing a second one. Um, Glam Light. I I've been told the quality is really really good, but it just looks cheap. Like um, this makes. I think they've almost kind of dug themselves a little bit of a hole because now it's very, you know, niche-y niche -y and very like, 
um, novelty with like the food and the food shape and um, this kind of stuff. And it kind of takes away and distracts from probably the quality of the shadows themselves. I can tell you right now, um, I will probably never buy from Glamlight if, if this is a continued packaging that they're going to have, um, despite the fact that their quality may be fantastic. Uh, I, I have limited space, so if the things don't stack right or what have you, then it's going to, it, it provides, diffi it's difficult for me. So I'm going to pass on this. I mean, it's, they look really pretty. It's a very vivid, as you can see, colorful palette. Uh, there's some mattes in there. It looks like some shivers and maybe some pressed glitters. Um, but again, it's a beautiful, vivid rainbow palette. So it, some, someone's going to love that. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please um, like, subscribe, uh, put on the notification bell. It really helps me out. And if you don't, that's okay. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Take, take care of yourself and um, take care of others. See you soon.